This is a documentary about Anthony Weiner. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a U.S. congressman who many people know got caught up in a sexting scandal when he uh, tweeted a picture of himself that he intended as a direct message to one woman, but accidentally tweeted it to all 40,000 of his Twitter, Twitter followers. Damn you, Twitter. <laughs> uh, he ended up uh, resigning uh, from Congress as a result of that, and then a couple years later he decided to try to re-enter politics by running for mayor of New York City. And that's when we caught up with him and started filming, and that's the film tells the story of, of the campaign. And so it was in that campaign, I mean, I, I was in news, so I remember it very well. Everybody remembers that picture. And then we were like, okay, his image is clean. And then he got caught up again. Can you explain that? Yeah, well, for the first um, six weeks or so of the campaign, it actually looked like things might be going uh, pretty well. You know, he, uh. he came back to the political scene and was wondering if it would be possible to get past this scandal. And what a lot of people don't know or don't remember is he was actually winning. Yeah. Uh, it was surging in the polls and then leading in the polls. Mm -hmm. um, and then the scandal resurfaced and things went in a different direction. Yeah, I mean, this film actually started out as a comeback story. And then obviously things took an unexpected turn. I mean, and in terms of our film, I mean, we've seen countless celebrity meltdowns and scandals play out in 24 hour news and in the headlines, but you rarely get the opportunity to be in the room while it happens. And so a after Anthony's sexting scandal, he was reduced to a punchline and a caricature. And in our film, you get a chance to spend time with him and see him as a complex, multifaceted person. And what was that like? What, what was your takeaway from, from this complex person? Well, I think that, you know, what's interesting about my story is that I didn't know Anthony um, prior to working on this film. And all I, I was like the audience. All I knew was what I had seen in the headlines and the tabloids. And what I discovered is that my preconceived notions of Anthony um, didn't match the reality of who he was. He's actually a, a much more complicated person and who can't be summed up in tweets and sound bites. Um, he's, he's a dad. He's a politician. Um, he's... He's a human being. Do you find being a politician uh, where you have to present this upright thing all the time, this persona, do you think sort of that can uh, repress other things in one's personality? I don't know. Not for us to say. I mean, yeah. I think that's something that we're really excited for audience members to see and form uh -huh. their own opinion when they see a film about, about Anthony. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and what do you hope audience members take away from it? Um, no, I mean, I think uh, echoing what Elise was saying, it, it really is mm -hmm. this unusual opportunity to go beyond the headlines. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, Anthony Weiner's story made headlines. He became a punchline. He really was reduced to this caricature. And I think that, um, especially in terms of our politics today, it's really uh, interesting and, and exciting mm -hmm. to see uh, the reality um, beyond what we see play out in the news. When you want to give that exclusive tip as to what you guys are doing, you'll be next. the one. You know the guy. Sure. We're coming to you. at Hollywood at the Vaseline Lounge. I'll be here. You must be so proud to be in the Vaseline Lounge. I am. I am. You guys have no idea how many jokes I've heard. Right? How many iterations of this?